What's happening guys? Today I want to do another sketch drawing of a vehicle. Why not? I'm doing many Range Rovers and that, so today I did one today. Here it is. I did this on orange paper just for something a bit different. And all I used for this was a few Copics and a permanent marker. I'll probably explain the video as well. This is a very cheap drawing, very quick, 15 minutes. White highlight as well, that was very important to use. So if you want to do this drawing as well, follow along with me in pencil. I recommend that on white paper. But you can try it in Sharpie if you want to, be brave and go ahead. Just do a fun little sketch. And if you fail up, tear up and do another one or fix it. It's up to you. Just have some fun drawing. I'll see you there. Okay, so I've got my orange paper, got my orange marker, time is ticking, recording is on. Got my ground level down just so I know where I want the wheels to go. So let's start off. I usually start from the bottom section. Uh, it's hard to start in the middle and work out. I like to do some line stuff with. And just remember if you wanted to do this yourself and follow along with me. You can uh, do this with pencil, I recommend it. I'm just doing a fun little happy sketch. Because why not? I do technical drawings quite often. And every now and then I just need to blow off some steam and just do a fast, fun drawing. Like so. So, this is the front bumper I am drawing now. As you can see. Because you are watching me. Here on my YouTube video, yo de ho. So, okay, there's a little vent here with a light in it. Uh, I'll do some shading in a minute. I'll just uh, get some of these lines in. Uh, do, do, do. There's quite skinny headlights on this uh, Land Rover. I can't remember what year it's from, didn't say my port reference. Uh, I haven't done one before, so why not? And drawing vehicles is a lot of first time for things. That many vehicles to draw. Sometimes it's hard to figure out which ones to draw, which ones to start off with. But there is so many. And you don't realise how many there is till you, like, you see some of them, how many manufacturers that have left the business. Like back in the 30s and 40s, there was like farmers from sheep herders and that developing their own vehicles and that and then selling it about manufacturers and stuff and then making one vehicle and just disappearing and these were never really heard of again because they were only popularized in the 30s and 40s so you'll find there's lots and lots of vehicles out there if there's anything you should start off with start with something you really enjoy doing like something like a, a vehicle you really love to do like you want to see like a poster on the wall like uh, as a kid or something, maybe like a Lamborghini or Ferrari, one of those hypercars are always quite popular than that. And uh, even if it doesn't look right, um, you know, just try it again. I mean, I wanted to do a book about drawing cars, but uh, I thought I'll spend a year drawing vehicles instead and see what, how much difference I can make if I do 300 drawings of vehicles a year. And if you're just doing quick sketches, like 10, 15 minutes a day, that's quite simple, that's quite easily done, and you'd be surprised how many. And even if you don't want to analyze yourself with the drawings, you can see yeah, some of the difference you'll you'll find when you keep looking at different photo references, seeing where light happens, shadows appear, highlights appear, contrast, saturation, colors. And you know, you get the biz. What are tools to use and stuff like that? What tools work for you? The majority of all the art will come to you eventually. I mean, you can look up lots of different ideas that this is what I use to create this. This is definitely what you should use to create that. But majority of the time is just figure out what works best for you. If you can afford all these expensive materials that are out there, uh, go ahead. I mean, I don't really recommend that you should. I mean, there is some nice tools out there that will last a long time. But it's, uh, it's the practice of the drawing that really comes, makes you a better artist. Um, it's not about my drawings haven't really just developed from doing YouTube videos in my garage all the time it's my doodles that I do at work in my break time and 
the napkin drawings I've done in coffee shops, the doodles I've done on phone receipts when I'm at a parent's house or stuff. It's just all these little practices, these little moments, these little moments of experience that really make you develop better as an artist. <laughs> uh, in my little retoire of self-reflection, as you can see, I'm slowly building up this Land Rover with the side and the front is now coming in, the wheels coming in nicely as well. It's quite a chunky car. Chunker, chunker. Nothing more a bit of trunk. This curls round here. Do you like modern cars? I don't know. Leave leave some comments below if you like modern cars or not. Because the, the modern cars have a lot more restrictions than the old fashioned cars. The, the old fashioned cars have uh, the space age dream of the 60s and the retro machines that they built and the flying cars they designed. And then you have now the automatic plastic frog like weird stuff that's all about safety and health and efficiency and oh the fun's out of it, the creativity's kind of sucked out of it. I thought yeah they do look nice some of them but I don't think the dream was really there anymore. I think the dream died. <laughs> I mean yeah no it's good to have health and safety in that but I think the dream of being artistic with the cars and stuff has gone. Unless someone can convince me, someone Please convince me that the art is still black. I mean, I know I've seen some of the prototypes, like the new Lamborghinis and the new hypercars and that. I mean, they are looking pretty well smart. And the Bugatti Veyrons and the Pagani Zondas and that. But, eh. I still think some of the best ones is, like, from the 60s and the 50s and that and the 40s. Strange tail fins and strange lights on them and that. So that's the rough design just about all done there, nice chunky Land Rover, we are 6 minutes in so making good time. Now I'm just going to some shading, I want this to be the lower, the darker portion of the vehicle so this is going to really pull your eyes in and draw out the saturation of the colour here, really create a good pinpoint so light, so that when I do highlights on this side and this on the opposite, I create a really nice effect. As you can see, this is on the orange paper. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but uh, yeah, doing different paper works. I, I like it. It's uh, something different. I'm working on white paper for God knows how long, but then doing colours, it's uh, it's quite refreshing. It's uh, makes your drawings all fruity. <laughs> But no, 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 it's a, uh, oh, it's somewhat different. This permanent marker that I'm using, I got this at uh, my local Morrison's. Like a little, I think this was one pound for a pack of two. So it's not exactly expensive. This paper was craft paper at the uh, children's area for like their craft things they want to do. So it's, overall this, it's, it's, it's cost like a couple of quid. And I can get loads of drawings out of that, so it's not expensive drawing at all. So no one can complain about not getting enough materials. Uh, I mean, if you want to save, I mean, even if you had a birthday money, or Christmas money, or a Christmas voucher, for any kind of shop, and you have a good hobby of art, you can do it. And don't complain to me that you don't have time to draw, because I. At my peak of my summer, I was still doing 10 YouTube videos a week. I was still doing 50 to 60 hours of work a week. Uh, work's gone down a bit, so I've got a bit more time. Uh, and I still maintain a healthy marriage, healthy social life. I still manage to pay my mortgage, so everything's fine. So I'm just dedicating myself. I'll probably play the PlayStation probably a bit less than some of my associates at work and probably watch a little bit less Netflix but hey, I can still get it done I've gotten, you can't complain to me, you've got no time and no money because what I've done I've just done entirely by teaching myself 
using these little simple tools with very little time that I have I've just coordinated it towards what I wanted to do so I know there's different shading here uh, what we are now nearly 10 minutes in so yeah it's getting there this is just a fun drawing I'm not doing this too technical I'm not doing this too neat if there ever is something that I don't want to do I don't like I will change it if you want to do work on pen go ahead be brave but if you have, if you make a mistake you've just got to fix it yourself Okay, I think that's enough black in there for now. Uh, let's go into a bit more darker orange to create a bit of a darker glow. Ooh, went a bit over, didn't matter. Let's fix that. So just some of these lower portions. I'm still going to leave some of it in highlight. Just like so. Just make this bit darker, this bit. I'm doing this quite quickly so I've no time to really think about the shadows. I'm just going along with it man, just go along with it. I'm just looking to see when enough is and I'll slow down like right about now where I think is enough is enough. Can't reach a point where a bit too much. Then I have to build up another way but okay, I like that. Um maybe a, just bring this round. I wanna make this a touch darker, just a touch. I need a red. So, just a little bit. Okay, I think that'll do for the colours. Now let's make this pop. That wasn't very good. Yeah, pop noise, whatever. Okay, so let's add a few white highlights here with my white gel pen. Just don't want to do too much of this. So it's just some of these lines here. Just create a nice even tone there uh, a little bit down the windscreen a little bit above here just like so I want this to pop it's mainly the sections that stick out, that's what's going to have the white highlights in it. Uh, let's do a little bit on wheels. A 
It's uh, just important to know when to stop. So I like that nice white highlight that's coming down there. And for my logo. Okay guys, this has been just under 15 minutes, so thanks very much for watching. Um, very few tools used, so yeah. Sorry for the inner monologue between it, but why not? <laughs> anyway, see you later.